Welcome again, this is Gens, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're doing an anime tier list, well, specifically an isekai tier list. I like anime, I've been watching anime for a long time now, since middle school, and I watch a lot of isekai because I'm a big fantasy dude, so we're going to be doing a tier list of some of the isekai I've watched. None of the anime on this I haven't watched, so I've watched every single one of these, some not all the way through, and I'm going to change the grade around based on that. But um, yeah, yeah, let's see uh, see how it goes, guys. We are going to start with solo leveling, solo leveling, S tier. It's not even over yet. And solo leveling is not really an isekai. I I'd count it, though, because they go into gates um, in the anime, and it's kind of a different world. So I'm going to count. I'm going to count stuff like that, and I'm going to count stuff like Sword Art Online. This is um, how not to use healing magic. So far, it's still it's still airing right now. I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna go B. Um, it's pretty good, pretty good, but it's just kind of basic. I wouldn't put anything. There's nothing crazy about it. So I'm gonna go B. We have Sukumichi Moonlight Fantasy S. I really like. I really like. It's just all around. It's got a few harem elements, but. And some people don't like that, but uh, that's just that's just how it be sometimes. Then we have Shield Hero. I really liked the first season, but the second season was hot poo poo dog shit. And I don't know anything about the third season, so we're just gonna go ahead and put it C. Um, Tales of Wedding Rings. That's what this one is. Uh, so far, it's literally just harem. It's just this eh, D. Um, yeah, no, there's not much to say about that. It's just. It's practically like softcore porn. Far Away Paladin. The story was really, really good. But it got super boring at times. And because of that, B. Then we have Dead Mount Death Play. I just finished watching this. And this might surprise a lot of people. I'm putting it S. Mm. A. A just because I don't think it's as good as either as good as either of the two. But it is really good. Dead Mountain Death Play was really, really good. Um, and this is some cooking anime. I forgot the name of it, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's going to go with eh, C or B. We'll put it at B um, just because this one. I remember it was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, then we have Sly Misakai. Sly Misakai? S. Clear S. You know what? We're going to rank these two up here. Um... Honestly, I'd say this goes here. I would say solo leveling is honestly the best out of these so far. I really like solo leveling. Then we have Mushoku Tensei S, obviously S. We're gonna out get this in front. As it's honestly, it's the best by far. Um, then we have the Aristocrats Otherworldly Adventure, I believe. Uh, boring. Don't really remember it. So D. I, I'm gonna be pretty harsh with some of these. Overlord is gonna be surprising to a lot of people. I'm going to put it at B. I couldn't finish it. It was just really boring at times for me. And then just, I don't know. I don't know. I just couldn't get through it. I don't know why. And then we have um, cheat skill. Or is this uh, makes me overpowered in the real world too? Yeah, my cheat skill in another world makes me overpowered in the real world too. I think that's what it's called. It looks okay. It's not bad. We're going to put it at B. Not bad. Um, re reincarnation of the strongest exorcist in another world. Mm. It was just, it was good. Pretty boring though. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at C. Re-Zero. I couldn't finish it. I liked it. I don't know why I didn't finish it. So we're going to go ahead and put that at B as well. This is, um, cell phone in another world. Pretty much, uh, D. <laughs> I don't need to explain myself there. D. Uh, the Great Cleric. That's a newer one. I thought it was pretty good. B. A lot of these are gonna be in B because a lot of them are B. Assassin. Um, strong, or like most skilled assassin, strongest assassin in another world, something like that. I remember this one being pretty good. I watched it twice because I was bored. Um, gonna put it at B as well. Konosuba. S tier. Konosuba's S tier. I'm gonna put it right before Mushoku Tensei. Or not Mishoka Tensei. Um, sorry, Tsukumichi. Konosuba is the funniest anime I've ever seen. Or at least it's like top three. It's um, If you're going for comedy, it's definitely the best isekai to watch. Um, Ari Furida, D. 
Um, I'm going to explain myself there, though. The main heroine, while being technically like a thousand years old or something, is a little kid. It's nasty. I get. I can't get into something where I'm watching a little kid get smooched. It's fucking disgusting. I just can't. Um, Grace of the Gods. So boring. It was good. It was just so boring. So we're going to put that at C. Um, strongest Sage with the weakest crest. This is a newer one. It is just all around poopy. All around dog shit. So D. Black Summoner. C. Black Summoner was okay just all around okay um uh, some of the animation was a little bit poopy and that's why i'm not putting it at b the eighth sun um yeah i think that's yeah it's just the eighth sun um are you kidding me uh eh, i don't really remember a lot of it because this came out a while ago basically the main guy is literally just born with a lot of magic power pretty basic in another world but he's the eighth son of some noble some poor noble um mm. It's just not memorable, so I'm going to put it at C as well. Um, the Wise Man's Grandchild, I believe. This one, pretty not memorable as well, so I'm going to put it at C. Because I, I just don't remember a whole lot about it. It's just basic, super-powered MC. Um, Death March in Another World uh, Rhapsody, I believe. Uh, let's see. I just don't remember a lot. A lot of these are just so not memorable that they have to go and see. Yeah. Skeleton Knight, I didn't even, I, I wasn't able to get through it. Um, put that in C, not D, because I do remember it was pretty okay. The Fruit of Evolution, the first season was really good. I liked the first season. The second season, horrible. And because of that, I want to put it in B, but I'm going to put it at the very height of C. Right behind Shield Hero. Parallel World Pharmacy was just okay. It was alright. Um... I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in B. I'm going to put it in B. I actually liked it a lot. Um, over, It was just pretty pretty all right. Then we have Sarai Gensuki Spirit Chronicles. This one, I'm going to put it in C, but I'm going to put it right before Grace of the Gods. Grace of the Gods is going to be at the very bottom of C. Um, yeah, Black Summoner. Which would I rather rewatch? I think I'm gonna go Black Summoner. Um, am I actually the strongest? Bottom of C. Boring as hell. Mediocre. I'm standing on a million lives. I believe that's what this one is called. This is another A. Really, really, really good. The story was great. It was just pretty all around great. So I'm gonna put um that. It's got a lot of episodes, so I think it's got like 40 episodes. So yeah, A. Then we have Isekai Cheat Magician. Mm, memorable eh, B Saga of Tanya the Evil another A I wouldn't put it on this level with these guys but I would put it with the other two so it's, it's definitely an A um, high, high School Prodigies have it easy in another world I believe this one is another C just eh, 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 eh. it's definitely better than a few of these though I'm going to put it right here <laughs> Um, this is Kamukatsu. Um, this is where he gets reincarnated in another world with this god that he hates and doesn't believe in. This one was really funny. I'm gonna put it at the very, very height of B tier. This is just, just slightly better, or just slightly worse than A tier. So that's why I put it in a B tier. Grimgar, Ashes and Illusions. This is a sleeper. If you have not seen this, watch it. It is very short, but it is so good. Bottom of S tier. Bottom of S tier. This is one of my favorite isekais I've ever seen. It is beautiful all around. Um, then we got my one hit kill sister. C. I'm going to put it just above Grace of the Gods. C. Another just kind of basic. If, if you like the campy the sexualization in anime, you'll like it, I guess. Um... Like I said, I'm counting Sword Art Online kind of stuff, and Full Dive is sort of like that. So, um, I'm going to put this at B. I do like it. I do like it. Quite a bit. I like it. Um, it was pretty good. I'm going to put it... This needs to go lower. This needs to go way lower. Um, this is going to go at the bottom right, 
right in front of it. So kind of cheap magician. But yeah, full dive. That one was pretty good. Um, this is the Master of Ragnarok and the Blesser of Ein Uh, C. Uh, unmemorable. Mediocre. Just all around okay. Then we have Sword Art Online. A tier. It's Sword Art Online. Come on. It's Sword Art Online. It's Sword Art Online. Above. I want to put some. <clears throat> I actually like this. Um, Say Night a Million Lives. I'm going to put that. These are kind of neck and neck, so that I could interchange these. And then we have um, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, B. So that, that's it for my Sky Drew list. I'm missing Shangri-La Frontier. I'm also going to count that just because it's kind of like Sword Art Online. I'm going to go ahead and put that at A tier. That was really good all around. Good animation, good everything. I'm going to put that at the very bottom, the like depths of A tier. Um, er, mm, I changed my mind because it's not as good as Kamukatsu, I believe. It's, er, it's about the same. I'm going to put it neck and neck with Kamukatsu, Kam Kamikatsu in B tier. So I've seen every, every single one of these. I haven't seen all of every single one of these, but I've at least watched a, a, like a good amount of every single one of these. And that's why I put them in there. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the like S tier. Did I forget we zero? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, S tier is pretty much just like that. Everyone thinks these are good except Grimgar. No one knows about Grimgar for some reason, even though Grimgar is like top tier. It's so good, man. But yeah, this is my Isekai tier list. I watch a lot of anime. I kind of want to do another kind of anime tier list. Although I don't really watch a lot of other... I could do a rom-com tier list or romance anime tier list. Maybe I'll do that as well. I think I'll do that. I'll do that another time, probably next Sunday. So yeah, that was my Isekai tier list. If you want more tier lists of any kind, um, yeah, I'll do some more of that. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys.